competing and getting better today physically. But, you know, since I can't do that, my world is just, uh, you know, being with my coaches, being around my coaches, watching, you know, what we, the drills that we're doing and uh, learning from that and, uh, and uh, getting better from, you know, mentally. Last time you were here, you didn't have Los Angeles Chargers gear. You didn't have that, none of that. Now that you actually put that stuff on, what is that? Uh, does it feel real now? Oh, uh, yeah, it does. It does. Now that I'm actually here, you know, doing football stuff, uh, you know, that, you know, that's, that's why I'm here, so. Have you had a chance to talk to any of the veterans, like, like me, Bain, or, or be around them a little bit? Like, a little bit, yeah. What have they been saying to you? You know, you know, the message is, you know, we're, we're here to win a Super Bowl, and that, that's the goal, and that's our plan. And, uh, you know, we're all gonna, gonna work like it. Having a look at the playbook and um, everything, how similar is it to what you ran at Notre Dame, and how much of an adjustment do you think it'll be? It's similar insofar as there's, there's you know, four down linemen, but I think the, it ends there, you know. I, but so I think the, the the transition won't be hard at all. So it's you know, football is football. You know, you line up and you go and you play. So I think I'll be able to I'll be able to transition nicely. What's it like working with Gus Bradley and Ben right there in that defensive line room? Uh, it's great. You know, I like I like I like both of them. They're both you know great great coaches. You know, I think I got a lot to learn from from both of them, and I think we can uh, we can win a lot of games together. You spend time. You gotta spend time together, going through it all, and um, from that is what you. That's how you. That's how you get better. That's how you learn something. You spend the time. That's what we've been doing. Have you had a chance to like talk to Nazir and some of the other guys in your draft? I have, yeah. And what was the? Uh, how do you guys all get along and everything? Great, great, really. You know, Nasir, Trey, Drew, the rest of them. I think uh, you know we we were we were talking, and you know, one rookie class every every season wins the Super Bowl. You know. We're saying like, why can't it be us? You know, I think that's something. That's our goal. That's what we want to do, and uh, that's why we're here. Dude, what um, right now physically? What are you? What have you been doing? Have you been, have you been lifting here, working out, that kind of stuff? What can you kind of tell us what you have been able to do? Yes, I have. Lifting is it, is it group kind of thing? Or? No, not yet. I've been you know I'm in the training room with with the doctors and the professionals here. When the second they clear me, is when I'll is when I'll start start doing everything else. Obviously, it was quite a while ago you came in from high school to Notre Dame and started at Notre Dame here. Are there any comparisons to being overwhelmed with the system in the NFL? It's transition. You know, life's about transition and how you manage that and how you maneuver through that. And so uh, I'm, I'm presented with another one here. So I'm, uh, I'm excited to, to, you know, for this, for this transition. Jerry, in talking to some of the coaches, it seemed like one of the attractions was your outside interest and in how you juggled that. How did that help you in, in what you're going to be doing now, some of the things that you're involved with outside of football? I think just having those experiences and, you know, being around different people, different cultures kind of informs, you know, how you, how, you, how you, you know, transition into a new locker room, new people. So I think, I think that's, that's one way that, that it, it'll help me. Jerry, how about just off the field, just living in L.A. Uh, it's day two. I like it so far. <laughs> you went home uh, after the draft. I did, yeah. But so far, because you had like this kind of a red carpet treatment after the draft, mm -hmm. you went around to, to a game and, and you went, to, went to go eat. So far, you like all that stuff? I do, I do. Okay. Love, so love that. Yeah. Jerry, you talk about the transition. It's, it's got to be comforting to have guys like Isaac here and then Drew and Tyler. Uh, what's it been like to have some of your former Notre Dame teammates kind of share this experience with you? Oh, it's great. It's something that, you know, really helps, you know, as you move forward through this, you know, sometimes tough process and have someone who's been there before and who knows you personally and who you can go to as a resource and as a mentor is really, really valuable. And specifically about having your teammates here, I mean, for, for today, Alex, mm -hmm. Caleb, Isaac as well, um, what's it been, anything that comes with, I mean, obviously the time being a part of Notre Dame? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, I think it's kind of unique to have that the chance to to do this, you know, to, to play on a pro team with you know four who you already played with before. So I think I think it's special for sure. After you were drafted, oh, one more. No, you're good. All right. Thank you. <laughs>
the exciting part is that there is a lot to learn and, um, you know, in a, in a great spot to do that, obviously. So uh, looking forward to, to continuing to learn and, and hopefully at some point, you know, it starts slowing down. Is it, uh, does it seem sort of overwhelming at, right now? Uh, I wouldn't say overwhelming. Um, obviously, it is a lot and it's, you know, it's a new environment. You're around new guys and so uh, you're getting in the huddle and you met a guy five minutes ago. And so it's just a different dynamic. So it's, you know, I think it goes back to uh, you obviously have a lot to do as far as studying and getting yourself prepared, but also, you know, reaching out and getting to know guys. So you walk in a huddle and, and you know what's going on and, and you've got relationships built with guys. So, you know, that'll just come with time. Obviously, it's a lot to prepare for, but what are some of your personal goals as far as just trying to uh, ingratiate yourself into what the culture is here with the Chargers? Yeah, I think as a rookie, it's, it's just about learning, um, you know, listening more than you're talking and, and, and um, you know, working your tail off. I, I think if you, if you do those two things, if you're listening, you're working hard, you know, hopefully you earn the respect of, of the guys that have been here for a long time and um, you can kind of, um, you know, follow their lead. Like you said, just kind of learn the culture and, um, yeah, hopefully, you know, things start slowing down that way. How much of an adjustment do you think a playbook is from what you've seen so far? You know, there are some similarities, but, yeah, it's definitely – it's a brand-new language, you know, so just learning how to speak it, uh, what you're calling things, and um, and then just controlling everything at the line of scrimmage. Uh, obviously, at the quarterback position, that's a big part of it. Uh, you know, making sure, obviously, you know what you're doing and getting the ball to the right spot, but also, you know, making sure everybody else is where they need to be. So, um, yeah, just learning the language and, and going from there. How valuable was this weekend for you in making the transition, knowing you're going to get the majority of those reps, and, and how are you approaching Oh, yeah, I think it's huge, uh, especially, you know, going into to next week when you're on the guys, you know, and uh, they're they're into this thing and they're rolling and, and they're ready to push it forward. And so, yeah, this weekend's huge for, for all of us to soak up as much as we can, get our feet wet, you know, take advantage of those reps. And, and like you said, the way I'm approaching it is it's just an opportunity to learn and, um, you know, see how quickly I can I can learn to just speak the language, you know, so I can sit in the room and, and talk and understand what's going on and then, you know, start to translate it out there on the grass. Have you had any um, coach say you've never seen anybody prepare the way that you prepare? How do you carry that over into the NFL, knowing that you have a, a potential future Hall of Famer in the quarterback's room, and, and knowing that this is a year to learn? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, that was something at school that I took pride in um, and definitely something that I'll, I'll try to do here. And uh, I think it's just about putting the time in and, and, you know, being disciplined with that, being intentional with, with what you're trying to get out of, you know, you know that that moment. And so, uh, you know, continuing that and, and then also just learning from the guys who have been here for a long time. Obviously, Philip and, um, you know, the quarterback room is a great room, but, but other guys that have played a long time and just seeing what they've done to be successful and, and just trying to learn the culture. You know, he, he sent me a text uh, after after the draft, and, and that was cool. I really appreciated that. But, no, I haven't got a chance to meet him yet. So uh, looking forward to, to meeting him and, and really all the guys. What's that? Uh, just congrats and, you know, looking forward to getting you here. And, and um, so, yeah, that, that was cool. You know, I, I guess a little bit, if, if you step back and look at it, you know, coming, um, you know, this is everybody's dream, right, the, the plays of sport to be here. And so, yeah, when you take a step back and, uh, you know, get a little perspective on it, yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. But at the same time, it, you work really, really hard to get here. And so, um, you know, there's that aspect, too, where it's like, you know what, I, I've worked hard and, and this is what I wanted and, and here's your opportunity. And, and so now just, just trying to do the most with it. Since getting drafted, has Carson reached out or – yeah, Carson's a good friend. Uh, you know, we talk a uh, decent amount. And so, uh, yeah, kind of always in, in contact with him. And like I said, he's been really good to me uh, going all the way back to, to Fargo, you know, when I first got to North Dakota State. And so, um, yeah, he, he's been great to me, especially throughout this process. What's the main word of advice that he's given you? Uh, I, just be yourself, you know, and then just continue to do what's, what's gotten you here. So, you know, working hard and, and hopefully treating people the right way. I, I think those are the two biggest things. You can't come out and try to, uh, you know, reinvent yourself or, or be somebody you're not. You know, people see that through that stuff, and, and it's not going to allow you to be successful. So just work hard and, and learn. One of your teammates is here with you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely, it makes it easy, right? Going out in the grass, and you're not worried about you know quarterback center exchange today. That that stuff was good. So I uh, know, but it, it's awesome having a familiar face, and 
Um, you know, just makes, I think, the transition maybe a little bit more comfortable. But uh, Tanner's awesome. He, he's worked really hard to get here, and so I'm excited for him. You know, I, I don't know. I, I guess I'm not too worried, you know, what, how you analyze it or the way people look at it. Um, you know, I think that's something that, that's part of my game is uh, I'm able to, you know, run around and, and just kind of be an athlete and play. And I think sometimes football looks that way. Obviously not always. you got to stand there and, and hang in there. And, um, you know, Phillip's one of the best at standing in there and making a throw and, and taking one in the teeth. And, and that's a huge part of the, the quarterback position. But, um, you know, every once in a while you just got to play. How have you rallied to your uh, overall performance today? I know it's right off the bat. Yeah. Yeah, shoot. No, it was fun. We had the, the rain coming down in beautiful Southern California, man. So, uh, no, but it, it was good just to be around the guys. And, and you, you know, by the end of the practice, you're a little bit more comfortable just speaking the language, getting in the huddle. And, and really, at the end of the day, it's football. Uh, so, so it was fun to, to finally be back to, you know, doing some of that stuff. Do you think one of your biggest adjustments is in the pro game, the amount of time being under center and trying to adjust to that? You know, kind of. I mean, obviously, it's a huge transition in general. Um, and I was fortunate to be under center and and do some different things with play action. Um, you know, dropping from the center, turning your back to the line of scrimmage, and then flipping your eyes and, and finding guys, and also you know doing stuff with the run game. And so, um, yeah, obviously, there's an adjustment in the fact that it's a new language. Um, you know, they're doing things a little bit differently uh, that way. And so, uh, yeah, that that'll be a transition for me. But thankfully, I've done a little bit of it, and so feel somewhat comfortable. Awesome. Yeah, thanks, guys. Appreciate it.